What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Female Grey Jedi Edition. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so... We're, let's actually open up... I don't want that, actually. We're actually gonna head... What's this? To the Vulcan? No, that's the wrong way. We actually gotta turn around. We're going this way now because we need to try and get access. We gotta get the prototype accelerator. Okay? That's next on the list. Obviously, we gotta go to the Undercity. I, actually, is the Undercity first? I forgot what's first. We've already been in there, right? That's the West Apartments? Yeah. Okay. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. I love how there's just some guys chilling with stuff, you know? Chuck an aid before they're expecting it. It's so great. It's pretty mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, to just throw a grenade at them. Easy money, give me them grenades. Good. Sure, we'll talk to him. Yes, what's on your mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do? Fair enough, what do you want to discuss? We didn't finish our conversation last time. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. What exactly are you watching me for? I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... well... It won't happen again. That's all. Of course, it will never happen again if you never trust anyone. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. You know what? If you're even capable of trusting anyone. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. So you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. All right, fine. He has his reasons, as we know. I think this is how we get into the Undercity, actually. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with yeah. official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I'll ask you some questions. I'm not here to answer your que All right, I've got my security papers here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants, rackles they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Dunkashin, see you later, fam jam. Undercity is where you call me. I'm sorry, I can't help but sing. I'm a sing-song kind of a guy. You there, up world there. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us now. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Being neutral. Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Um, I, I'm just gonna do what, <laughs> I don't have any credits on me. We're not fools. We know all who come from the upworld are rich. Please, is five credits too much to ask? Please have pity on us. We have nothing. 
All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. See, I gotta be... I don't want to give them anything. Forget it, you'll get nothing from me. Have you no heart? Have you no compassion? Come, my brother. Let us go. We will get nothing from this selfish upworlder. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. They changed her face, we too. We all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Danielle Kiewit, <laughs> the stupid name. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Something special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Who's Rukil? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Promised Land. It's, it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. We're gonna find him. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Uh, ask you some questions. You'd probably get more information. Do you think about the escape pods? Probably not. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Uh... Have any upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Um. All right. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Thanks. Okay, all uh, right, let's look around a bit. So we are uh -huh. what? at, obviously we're in the Ender City. We can look around a little bit, do some stuff. He's the healer, or she's the healer. Wait, Upworlder, you can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rupgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rupgores, we'll let them destroy each other. I must, uh... Try and help the infected ones? I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into Rutgalls, you'll be walking into your grave. Alright, well anyways, let's see what we can do. Hi. Please, help us. We're infected with the Rutgall disease. At any moment we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! That escalated quickly. <laughs> All right, put the shield on. Time to rumble. Jesus, start attacking. 
Oh my god, how come it's so much? How, am how is it so easy to die? I don't understand. Oh my god, disengage and run. Run, run, run. See, like, it's so easy to die. You asked for this. No, what are you doing? Heal. Good god, man, do it again. That was really dumb. I, I honestly... It's kind of annoying that, um... I wonder if PC's a bit different. Just throw a grenade at them. Pop, no, stop. Pause, pause. Throw this guy. Throw a nade at his ass. Now run away. Throw a nade. Got one of them. Throw a nade. How do you miss, dude? You're right in front of them. There you go. All right, we dealt with them. Now I'm up. Please tell me you're not going to get stuck. Good. I thought she was going to get stuck. Like, my health is super low. I don't understand how anybody can make it through this uh, this first bit while not leveling up. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's save. Uh, three hour. Okay, one hour. There you go. Are these guys going to turn as well? Please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. Who are you? Why are you walked away, locked away? We have the Rack Ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. And soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into these horrible Rack Ghouls ourselves. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get me back on the final Please hurry up, world. Don't forget about us, up. All right, bye bye. There's a voice. Keep on calling me. Can I go in here? No, I didn't think so. There's really nothing to see. Rukil, Gendar's. This is the old man. He's got all those you, tails. You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny? Then, is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Hey, relax. Can I ask you some questions? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Ah, uh, okay. What do you want from me, Ruko? I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly. My apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. What will you give me if I help you? Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. All right, well, anyway, that's that. Let's go move. Let's move. Karth, Jesus. Let's go speak to uh, Gendar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. 
I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Why do, um, why do you live here? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Tell me about the rat ghouls. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I ask some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Uh, I'm looking for a mission. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask some Ask questions. Ask questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Uh, tell me about the Rackles. Did I ask that already? The Rackles are monsters. Yeah. You know Sorry. Uh, you said something about the upworld as you came here. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. All right. Well, that's it. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you... Thanks. Okay. Not a whole lot for... I thought he had more information. Maybe not. There is a guy. I know there is a guy. Oh, there's Shalina. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I can throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Um, how you manage to run a store? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Ask uh, some questions. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Why doesn't he like you? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the upworlders. Why should they get anything? There has to be more to it than that. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Well, let me see your inventory. It ain't the best. All right, what's he got? Chani battle armor. Pretty cheap. The quarter staff's not doesn't do that much damage, unfortunately. But it gives you multiple attacks. Vibration cell. What if that's worth buying? It's pretty cheap. I'm gonna buy it actually. 
Because you never know. The strength, how much are the strength gauntlets? Quite expensive. Can I sell stuff? Let's see what I could sell, if anything. Um, he won't take, give, take anything for that. I'll never use these, so I'll sell them both. Uh, the long sword, it's not worth anything. Short sword, not worth anything. Um, I'll hold on to some stuff. Good. Okay, we bought a couple things from him. It does come in handy, and it really does make a difference early on in the game. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay, that's the lap we've just done. So, we can go and help. This is cut content right here. Run! Help! It's right behind me! Help! Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! That's He'll where it cuts in. It. He's doomed. Normally. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! Different cutscenes! the gate! Not while the rat ghouls are so near! Leave the gate closed, that'd be savage. I'll kill them. You'd risk your life for a stranger? You're brave, Upworlder. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna die. For you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Hurry, while the gate is still open, you must save Hindar. All right, Hindar, don't be a punk and help me out. See, Hindar's actually helping a brother out. Look at this. It's just one. It really isn't that bad. The car's a bit sore. Go. You asked for this. How do you keep... See, it's so annoying. And I'm dead already. It's so easy to damn die. I, there must be something different. Let's go. Just kill him, please. Hendar's gonna die. We got him. Leave it to Karth, man. Seriously. I'm here. That was dumb. Inject. Inject again. You're welcome. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. That was close. I got some light sides. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? The dank memes, where are they held? Who are you? I'm Trowin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the Rat Ghouls. Ask some questions. I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. All right. Goodbye, Upworlder. Sweet. All right, so we're done here. Let's go on a little scalvage. Scalvage. Sorry, I left Karth out there. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. All right, Zalbar, you mean your Wookiee friend? What happened? Me, oh, shit, I didn't Zalbar, mean that. We were just wandering around Whatever. here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Why don't you ask Gadden the Bex to help you? I can't ask Gadden. He's always telling me not to go into the Undercity. He says it's too dangerous with the Rat Ghouls and Gamorreans and all. He'll never send his Bex down there. Um. 
Uh, if you, if I help you get Talbar back, you have to ha get me inside the Volcar base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volcar base. Now come on. We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. All right, good. Mission's in our group now. Level her up real quick. By this point, though, I've had better weapons than this, and I've always given her the prototype Vibroblade. That's a good, honestly, that's, to give her the recommended is best. I'm just going to do the recommended each time. Uh, yes, combat suit. She's already got a stealth field generator. I'm going to give her, though, it's a 1 to 6. I'm going to give her a melee. She's got her own vibra blade, so we're going to do that. Good. Hmm? All right, let's keep ronin, running. Ronin. Keep ronin. Just keep ronin, 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 ronin. Yeah, ronin, 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 ronin. Come on, ronin, ronin. Is it the candy man? It is. So they, they did take his mask off. Don't don't move. I'm I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Why? Is there some sort of danger down here? This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I should just let them do their thing. Yeah! I'll help them out. Go. Come on, go! I hate how they miss all the time, and it's right in front of them. There we go. You're welcome. We'll talk Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Um... Can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the Lower City Gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. What do you know about the Lower City Gangs? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The Lower City is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Becks and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Becks were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. What are you? Oh, sorry. All right. Come on, boys. Let's move out. I think you're the only one. I think all your boys died, fam. Look at all those rat ghouls over there just chilling. Seriously, normally they survive. Oh, there's one dude. There's one dude that lasted. I think we'll ionize his ass. Oh, wait. No, cancel that, actually. Oh, never mind. Holy shit. Holy shit. 
Get him! What are you doing? Sometimes just simply attacking them like that is better. What? Huh? How are you leveling up already? I'm not complaining, but... Uh, we'll give her that. Good. I am the candy man. There's a lot of dudes here. Cancel. No, 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 no. This guy. It does do good money. Time to rumble. I really don't have to do a whole lot for them. Go. All right, these guys don't have anything. I know we're a little bit poisoned. Having that extra blade is kind of helpful. There's the promise line journal. There's more though. I know there is. Easy money, good. Easy money. Another corpse. Who's that over there? Do you see that? Oh, it's a droid. Honestly, at this point, it's not worth it. That droid was off. That droid was not there, guys. That's cut content as well. It's crazy how much cut content there is, you know? Wow, what knob just walked through that? Use your goddamn brain. I got a bit of rubble. That's going to bring us underground there. It's not where we want to go yet. We want to completely search the place. Right? Yeah, lower sewers. We don't want to do that. Much worse than the upper sewers. Is that a salvage? Yeah. This guy wasn't here either, I don't think. Saw, dude. He's still salvaging. He's not even attacking me. Hit him, for God's sake. So you're better off just doing the attack. Time to rumble. There you go. A little bit of action there. Don't kill me. I surrender. I surrender. You better answer my question if you want to live. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Who do you work for? I work for Bridget, head of the Black Volker Gang. He told us to kill anyone who came snooping around. Were there any other survivors at this crash site? There was one survivor, a female Republic officer. Bastilla or something like that. Brezhik took her back to the Black Volker base as his prisoner. How can I get inside the Volkar base? You can't. Nobody can. They'll shoot you on sight. Even I couldn't get you in. They'd just shoot us both if we show up there together. There has to be somewhere to get in. Well, we could talk to the hidden Vex. They're our biggest rival. They might know some way to get in. Look, that's all I know. I swear. Please, just let me go, and I promise you'll never see me again. Okay, get out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm out of here. Got some light side points, annoyingly. See, I don't want to get light side. I gotta do some douchey things. The thing is, I don't want to be a dick. I just want to be neutral. Because, like I said, some things are too nice. If that makes sense. Who's that? A Republic help. soldier, huh? Help. Oh, right. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing. Like some kind of hideous disease. So there's nothing I can do for you. No! No! I can feel it! It doesn't matter. That happens every time. And it's just one dude anyway, so I'm not really concerned. I think actually he might call some of his boys. Unless it's just him. I gotta get a better flurry attack. Alright, that's all that was. Honestly, I look at it as an experience boost. It, things look way different here on PC. Does that make sense? Here we go, some Sith. I love how, like, if we wait to answer until he gets right up to our face. I've got the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? 
They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. All right, um, you lost one? Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Why don't you give up the search? Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. Bye-bye. All right, now I think eventually we walk across... Or we come across the actual Rack Ghoul Serum Cure. Concuss. That was a good one. Just go, go, go. Oh, you got wrecked, fam. What do you got for me? This, you can't go down. I'm stuck on nothing. Move, what's going on? What the hell was that about? One thing about PC though is I've found wow, there's a lot of guys here. What? Uh -huh. Is there are quite a few um there's the there's a cure right there. How'd you like that? Come on. Oh that's bad. No, I don't want to pick it up yet, I'm sorry. I love how I just ditched them. Antidote kit, heavy combat suit, blaster, rack cool serum. And then a couple extra goodies. Good job, team. Alright, that's the other side of the sewers. Just gonna grab the skeletal corpse. Good! Alright, I gotta heal up, man. I'm not doing so well. I'm not doing so hot. All right, let's head back to the village. What? What? I'm here. Shit, I'm sorry. I'm just one second. This could be very valuable. Rukul's apprentice. All right. Well, anyways, before we go into the basement, I'm actually gonna do one last outer sweep of this area, or not the basement, the sewer. You know, just a giant loop around the undercity area. Because, oh, this is the main gate. All right, good. So I'm going to save because it's been a while. What are we sitting at? Uh, two hours, two, no, two hours, 26. Good. Good. All right, so. I don't think I want to do anything, but I'm, what I'm going to do is actually return to the nut job. Where is he? This guy. Rukil. Greetings once more. Apprentice is dead. I have her journal. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. I think I have me confused with someone else. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. I'm not interested if I'm honest, but the great city of top. So I'm gonna skip this. It's so boring. 
What's that have to do with me? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. How can I lead to the Promised Land? I don't even know what it is. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps... With their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Um... And you want me to find these missing journals? I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope the knowledge that you are helping the entire village escape a life of darkness and suffering is reward enough. I'll find them. Many I yeah, yeah. I have one though, so I'm gonna return it to him real quick. Wait, what? Why is it redoing that? Sorry. I have one of the journals. Yes, Upworlder. Ah. I'm afraid that. All right, all right, all right. So there you go. That's that's what I was trying to get, which gives me cards level up situation. Recommended again because we got all the stuff. Um, so we got the two weapon fighting for him, so I'm going to actually get, I think, rapid shot, and then improved. We get two for him. That's awesome. Good. I'm going to save. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. Why are you telling me this? Oh, don't worry, I'll make this quick. I've got an offer that might be worth your while for an outcast. I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. So what do you want me to do? The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. I'll think about it. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? No. You came to me. Okay, you... Anyway, that's a journal. So if we want to get paid, which honestly, in some respects, it makes more sense to do that. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8000. K and Snapchat, thank you, 8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. And if you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code thank you, 8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knoxville. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.